published 12.10 est, the 1st of December 2017 updated 0840 est, the 2nd of December 2017 SpaceX has delayed the launch of its giant Falcon Heavy rocket until 2018, the firm said it was still on course to test the rocket in a static fire trial this year. However, in an email to Aviation Week, SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell revealed the delay. SpaceX massive Falcon Heavy rocket, projected to be the most powerful operational rocket in the world, is set to launch this November, according to Elon Musk. A concept photo is pictured height 70 meters 229.6 feet stages 2 boosters 2 cores 3 engines 27 payload to LEO 63,800 kg 140,660 LB payload to Mars 16,800 kg 37,040 LB total Width 12.2 meters 39.9 ft mass 1,420,788 kg 3,125,735 lb total thrust at liftoff 22,819 kN 5.13 lb pounds We wanted to fly heavy this year, she wrote. We would be able to static fire this year and fly a couple of weeks right after that. The static fire test will be the first time that all of heavy's 27 Merlin engines will be fired at once. The vast rocket, which is ultimately three Falcon 9 rockets linked together, will have the combined thrust to eventually launch 140,000 pounds 63,500 kilograms of cargo into orbit. And if all goes well there, Falcon Heavy should be ready for launch within the first few weeks of 2018. SpaceX is poised to move launches of its single-core Falcon 9 rockets to Pad 40 at neighboring Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, beginning with a deck. 8 flight to send cargo to the International Space Station, freeing up Pad 39A for final upgrades and outfitting to support the Falcon Heavy. According to Spaceflight, now Musk has admitted there are low expectations for the first launch. Falcon Heavy requires the simultaneous ignition of 27 orbit class engines, Musk said at the ISS Road Conference in July. There's a lot that can go wrong there, there's a real good chance that it does not make it to orbit. I hope it gets far enough away from the launch pad that it does not cause pad damage, I would consider that a win, he said. I encourage people to come down to the Cape to see the first Falcon Heavy mission, he added, hinting at the riskiness of the first test launch. It's guaranteed to be exciting, SpaceX shared a video of the Falcon booster completing its final testing of the rocket's first stage cause before its first ever test launch set for November last month. SpaceX finished testing first stage cores of the Falcon Heavy rocket slated to send humans to the moon next year and launch man to Mars in the coming decades. Falcon Heavy's three first stage cores have all complete testing at our rocket development facility in McGregor, Texas, the company announced on Friday night at 23.23 ET423 British Summer Time Saturday. The idea of creating reusable rockets is at the heart of Musk's mission. SpaceX massive Falcon Heavy rocket, projected to be the most powerful operational rocket in the world, is set to launch this November. Ma tweeted that the team are putting together a SpaceX rocket landing blooper reel. We messed up a lot before it finally worked, but there's some epic explosion footage, he tweeted. The firm has teased the mega rocket since 2011, and had originally planned to achieve its maiden flight in 2013, but faced several challenges that forced SpaceX to push back the Date, the SpaceX CEO tweeted the schedule last month, following up on claims made this past June which first revealed the unmanned launch could happen in the next few months. Falcon Heavy made and launched this November, Musk wrote on social media alongside a concept photo of the powerful three-core rocket. Falcon Heavy's three first stage cores have all complete testing at our rocket development facility in McGregor, Texas, the company announced on Friday night at 23.23 ET423 British Summertime Saturday SpaceX massive Falcon Heavy rocket, projected to be the most powerful operational rocket in the world, is set to launch. This November the vast rocket, which is ultimately three Falcon 9 rockets linked together, will have the combined thrust to eventually launch 140,000 pounds 63,500 kilograms of cargo into orbit Falcon Heavy will generate over 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff or, the equivalent of 18747 aircraft. While no one will be aboard its initial flights, the Falcon Heavy could one day bring private citizens to space in Musk's radical interplanetary transport system. And, the first passengers will need to be courageous, Musk warned at the International Space Station ISS Research Development Conference. 
Musk tweeted that the team are putting together a SpaceX rocket landing blooper reel. We messed up a lot before it finally worked, but there's some epic explosion footage. He tweeted he admitted that there is a good chance that its unmanned maiden flight will end in disaster. There's a lot of risk associated with Falcon Heavy. Real good chance that that vehicle does not make it to orbit, he said. Major pucker factor, really, is like the only way to describe it. The SpaceX CEO tweeted the new schedule in July following up on claims made this past June which first revealed the launch could happen in the next few months when the time does come to add passengers. He says there's no question, whoever's on the first flight, brave, the firm boasts that the Falcon Heavy will be the world's most powerful rocket when completed. It will be equipped with three cores, making for a total of 27 Merlin engines to generate 5.13 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. In a conference following the successful launch of a reused Falcon 9 rocket in March, Musk revealed some of the difficulties they'd faced along the way. At first it sounded easy. Well just take two first stages and use them as strap-on boosters, Musk said. It was actually shockingly difficult to go from a single core to a triple core vehicle. SpaceX made history in March when it achieved the first ever reuse of an orbital class booster, which CEO Elon Musk had deemed a huge revolution for. Spaceflight reusable rockets would cut costs and waste in the space industry, which currently loses millions of dollars in jettisoned machinery after each launch. Russia, Japan and the European Space Agency are also developing similar technology and are in testing stages. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon.com and owner of the Washington Post newspaper, said last month that Blue Origin expects to begin crude test flights of the New Shepard, the company's flagship rocket, next year and begin flying paying passengers as early as 2018. The Indian Space Agency also hopes to develop its own frugal shuttle, as it seeks to cash in on a huge and lucrative demand from other countries to send up their satellites, after a successful test launch last month.